Hello everyone, Sright here bringing you guys a brand new Let's Play, the original Sonic the Hedgehog on Sega Genesis, brought to you guys by GameAnyone.com. Here we go, let's do this shit. Uh, if you guys don't know what Sonic is, then I, I cannot help you if you don't know who Sonic is in this day and age. He's, you know, he's one of the biggest video game mascots out there other than like Mario. So, uh, but in case, you know, you've been living under a rock, then Sonic's a blue hedgehog, and he runs really, really fast, and he fights Dr. Robotnik, nowadays called Eggman, but whatever. So, and I figured, you know, a lot of people prefer Nintendo over Sega, I've talked about this a lot in my other videos, but you know what? I always thought Sonic was a lot cooler than Mario, I mean, he's a blue hedgehog, and not a fat... Italian plumber at whatever. Bandit, I do. Uh, in case you don't know how this works, uh, every l stage has three acts, and if you get enough rings and go fast enough, you can get into these bonus stages. And if I could do it, uh, what? Now see how there's a chaos emerald in there? In this game, there are six emeralds. Where in every other Sonic game, there's seven. So I already got the first chaos emerald. There is no Super Sonic on this game, just if you get all six Chaos Emeralds on this game, you get, I guess, the good ending, and Eggman gets mad at the end, and if you don't, then Robotnik kind of dances around and teases you with the Emeralds that you missed, so whatever. I'm not really guaranteeing I'm going to go for all the Emeralds, but if I get them, then why not? I, I us I'm usually able to get all of them every other time I've played through this, so we'll try. I did miss that extra life though, but whatever. More stars, that's always good. Well, shit. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, stars make you invulnerable, it just does not protect you from getting crushed, running out of time, which it's 10 minutes, or falling completely off screen like that. So, that's bad. Let's try that again. I'm surprised I died so fast, but whatever. So even though Sonic goes fast, you gotta slow down sometimes and be patient, like right here. Alright, now we can go fast again. Vroom! Uh, Sonic was the very first video game I ever played- well, ah uh, shit. Yeah, you need 50 rings to activate the special stage. Uh, I guess it wasn't Sonic 1 that was my first game, I think it was actually Sonic 2. Like the first time I ever even played Sonic 1 was on, uh... There's a game on Sega Genesis called Six Pack. It had Sonic, Revenge of Shinobi, Columns, you know, a bunch of other games like that. So that's the first time how I played it, but, you know, it, it was its own game. Uh, Sega definitely made the right choice and chose to bundle Sonic with uh, the Sega Genesis when you bought it. By the time I bought a Genesis, or I got it when I was like four for Christmas, uh, Sonic 2 was already being bundled in it. But before the original Sonic was in there, it was games like Altered Beast, and, you know, someone, some genius at Sega said no, put Sonic in the bundle instead of Altered Beast, and, uh, you know, the hero was born, pretty much. So, here we are, just rocking it through Green Hill Zone, and here's the ending. So, now we have to fight Robotnik for the first time, and he's pretty easy. Uh, all you have to do is hit him, hide under the ball, and then hit him again. Uh, quick trivia question, how many times do you have to hit Robotnik usually to kill him on a Sonic game? Eight. But usually his final bosses take f uh, 14 hits. At least it does at the end of Sonic 2 and 3, I think. So I think it's eight at the end of Sonic 1. But, uh, all done with that act, or, um, that stage, I should say, Green Hill Zone. And next comes the most annoying level in any Sonic game, Marble Zone. Okay, I'm sure there's more annoying levels like Lava Reef and Sandopolis and Sonic and Knuckles, but whatever. At least the most annoying stage on Last Sonic 1, because of these worms, the lava sucks, you can get squished, you can get impaled by the spikes. Uh, whatever. So we're going to head down here, grab the shield. Woo! See, yeah, you guys get crushed by these. I don't know what they are. They're these pillar squishy thingies. 
It doesn't make sense on how you're supposed to be in like an ancient ruin and there's those things, but I mean, I guess there's also robot animals, so whatever. Well, animals trapped in robots, but whatever. Alright, dance a little Sonic, let's go. Always make sure you grab the checkpoint, you never know when you're gonna die. Okay, the ceiling falls down here, make sure you don't go down here. Alright, you know, it's actually kind of weird because most of my Let's Plays I do games that I've never played before. So, you know, a little bit, it's always learning the controls, getting used to it, finding out where to go, but, you know, not on Sonic, I've played the hell out of all of the old school Sonic games. Not so much the new ones, like the Rings and the Werewolf one and all that other stuff, nah, I, I kind of stopped at Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic uh, Heroes. Yeah, oh well. I played a couple of the Game Boy Advance ones, they're, they're pretty good for what they're worth. All right, and I never got the chance to play Sonic 4, in case you guys don't know what that is, it's a 2D, well I guess 2.5D, whatever, version of Sonic. It's on uh, it's on Xbox Live Arcade and the, the Wii console and, you know, all that. Uh, I've heard good stuff about it, but, you know, never got around to playing that. But that's, th this isn't Sonic 4, this is Sonic 1, the original, the one that started the entire franchise. Now this is a level where your ass has to be patient, you can't screw around, so it's obviously like the worst designed level for someone like me who just has to keep moving. Come on, it's a Sonic game, right? Eh, whatever. So we go here, we push this block, but then you trigger this, so your ass has to book it. Watch out for the spikes. And if the spikes impale you against the ceiling, it's, uh, the game counts it as like being crushed, so, uh, you die instantly. Woohoo! Oh, I was gonna say I got really lucky on there. I'm out of rings though. I just realized I never explained how the rings work, but I mean, I guess it's. I mean, chances are if you're watching this video, you know how Sonic works. But in case you don't, if you have zero rings and get hit, you die. Which, like right now, I don't have rings. I do. I do have a shield though, so that counts for a free hit. So, you know, Sonic collects rings, Mario collects coins, I guess Simon Belmont collects hearts, it's all good. Sonic's got some dance moves, alright. Ah, crap. Oh well, I, I at least get the extra life and the rings. But, that means you have to do this all over again. Which sucks, because now I just lost all the rings I picked up. Oh, man. Oh, well. Free extra life, though. That never hurts. So now we'll be patient. See, before I tried to go too fast and I jumped the gun. Which is not good. Do, 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 do. There we go. Ah, oh, I hate these worm things too. If you, you have to hit them in the head, and if not, then they break apart and their body breaks apart too, so the spikes can hit you. Oh, come on, Sonic, get up there. Uh, uh, this is before Sonic can spin dash. You know, if you hold down and then jump, you power up in a little spin ball and then go on down. Super speed? Yeah, that was before that was invented. So, you can't do any of that. Oh, shit. I'll take the ring. I'm not taking chances. That should be the end of the level, though. Um, nope. For some reason, I was thinking Act 3 in my head. Alright. Ah! The stars, stars, stars! Alright. Sucks I don't have rings, now I do. But that's a definite help, I can just run through the, uh... The lava, but now... It kinda gets wasted, cause... It's on a set time limit, and now... Whoa. I guess it helped there, too. 
against the spikes. There we go. Whoa, a little lag there. Fret sucks, man. Oh, and yeah, and sometimes you could jump around and hit these invisible things for extra points. Just something fun, gives you something to do. And then later on Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles, uh, you can hit the little uh, flag post thing and get power-ups like shields, bubble shields, fire shields, magnets. I'll explain all that when I do Sonic 3. Which I will do in the future. I want to go through all the, uh, at least all the old school classic Sonic games. And then I also want to do uh, the Mario games. Free shield. Woo. It's good. I thought there was lava down here. Wait. Uh, and I know that this level is really boring to watch, and I apologize for that. Uh, all the other levels are really high-paced, fun. It's just... This is the boring level. This was always my least favorite level of Sonic 1. And the most favorite was probably Starlight. Actually, no, Spring Yard. Just because of the music. Which is the next level. We'll see that. The Labyrinth was kind of a bitch, too. The first time you do it. Especially the first time you have to fight Robotnik, because... You know, there's spikes everywhere, you drowning in water, it, it, you'll see, in case you have no clue what I'm talking about. Oh, come on! Uh-oh. Get the ring, Sonic, come on. Ooh. I got lucky there. I got really lucky. Gotta try again now. Oh, well. All right. Let's try this again. That dumb worm threw me down, screwed everything up. Okay, at least he's gone. Or over there, at least. I don't know if that's the same guy, but... Uh-oh. Go down here, avoid the fireballs, avoid the spiked ceiling stuff. Oh, come on! No, 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 no. Oh. That's one of the biggest panics in video gaming, like, ever, when, like, you're completely screwed, trapped in a corner by a bunch of enemies, and you're not sure if you're gonna be able to pick up your ring or not. Yeah. Either that or when you hear the drowning music. Dun, 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 dun. Or the Peace Witch theme from Mario. You know, where it's kind of like, oh shit, I better hurry up and use this. Alright, we're almost done. Three minutes already? Man, this is a long level. You'll almost never have to worry about the ten minute time limit. Actually, I take that back on the almost. You'll never have to worry about it unless you're completely brand new and, you know, it's one of those dumb, difficult levels like Labyrinth Zone you'd probably struggle on, or Sandopolis or Flying Battery on Sonic and Knuckles. Those are kind of a bitch. Until you know what you're doing. Come on, Fraps, don't get laggy with me now. That was kind of weird. I jumped without turning into a ball. Uh... You know, come to think of it, I probably will not do Sonic Spinball. It's a pinball game, except you're Sonic. Uh, it's a fun game. It's a good game. Just, you know, since that potentially could take so long, just because, you know, it's pinball. It's kind of, you know, somewhat by chance on if you're going to hit stuff or not. You know, that and I've never beat Sonic Spinball. I got to the last level. I, I can never beat it, just because by then, you've already been playing for like three hours and your patience is running thin. Yeah, we're almost out. All we have to do is escape this cavern thing. Oh, come on! No! Get the ring, please! Oh, shit, Sonic. Stuck between a rock and a hard place now. Yeah, falling sucks on this game. It's one of your worst enemies other than, like, dumb spikes like that. Oh, come on! I didn't hit any checkpoints, did I? Did I? Okay, I did. I'm like two minutes behind. God damn it. Oh, uh, meet me back when I get there. 
Alright, we're out of that hellhole. Oh, God. I'm usually a lot better at this. I just, I haven't played Son the first Sonic in such a long time. Anyway, here we go. Robotnik! What we have to do is he's gonna drop lava. Or fire, I guess. Whatever. Then you have to jump to the other one. Hit him twice. Jump over. And you're good. It's kind of like a... Like, Sonic 2 kind of reuses this boss again on Hilltop. It's sort of the same thing. Except he comes out of the lava in some weird lava-proof machine. Anyway, I apologize why that on you know, for that taking so damn long. I haven't played the first Sonic in forever, so we'll go ahead and call that a video, and on the next episode we'll hit Spring Yard and Labyrinth Zone. Thanks for watching.